Now on 4 News Now at 5, get ready for the hottest days of the year so far. I'm tracking triple digit heat on the way. I'll help you plan your weekend in the first alert forecast. From parades to fireworks, the Inland Northwest is buzzing with 4th of July excitement. We've got the scoop on some fantastic activities to make your holiday weekend unforgettable. Plus, we will introduce you to the family responsible for putting together the fireworks show that will light up downtown Spokane later tonight. You're watching 4 News Now at 5. We begin with some breaking news out of Okanagan County, a wildfire burning in the sand flat area in OMAC. We told you about this during the four o'clock hour. We just learned into our newsroom evacuations have been dropped. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. Derek Dice has the night off. That fire is burning in the northeast part of town, south of Highway 97. And if you look at your screen, you can see photos of the flames from a viewer who sent in these photos to us, they were pretty close to homes. You can also see planes that the fire crews brought in to battle those flames. Crews will be working through the night to extinguish them. This is still a developing story. We will update you as we learn more. Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker is here now. And Chris, with almost triple digit temperatures on the way, our fire risk is going to go up. Yes, and very, very dry conditions as well. We're concerned not only about people, but about our property. As our fire danger increases, we have weather alert day starting Saturday and continuing all the way through Friday for the entire region because of this excessive heat. And it's not just the numbers, and they'll be peaking sometime next work week. It's the duration, because when you are out day after day in the heat, it compounds itself. It is cumulative, and uh, it can really take a toll even on the healthiest individuals if you don't really hydrate and try to stay out of the heat as much as possible. An excessive heat warning still goes into effect Saturday afternoon for the area shaded in pink on your screen. However, it has been extended, now goes all the way through Friday evening. So more than a week uh, from now, we'll still be under that excessive heat warning. It is a heat advisory through the central panhandle, North Idaho and the Northeast Mountains, where naturally it is a little bit cooler. Still an excessive heat watch for western Montana and the southern panhandle. Meanwhile, if you are heading out to fireworks tonight, today's temperatures topped out in the 80s and we will still be in the 80s at 8 o'clock as you may be making your way into downtown or wherever you are going to be viewing the fireworks tonight. 9 o'clock still in the 70s, absolutely clear skies. 68 at 11 o'clock and no problem with the wind. Less than five miles per hour really couldn't be a better night for fireworks. Then we start heating up. I'll be back with your seven day forecast in just a few minutes, Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. And because of those high temperatures this weekend, the city of Spokane is activating its cooling centers. On your screen right now is a list of those centers. Now that includes most of the city's libraries and the Trent Resource and Assistance Center. Anyone getting to and from one of these locations can take Spokane Transit for free. Oh, As we celebrate America's independence, hundreds gathered in downtown Coeur d'Alene for the annual American Heroes Parade presented by Idaho Central Credit Union. Floats rode along Sherman Avenue for 15 blocks as people honored our veterans and active service members for their bravery in protecting our country's freedoms. Marissa Rio takes us to the big celebration. This year's American Heroes Parade is a ton of fun. The theme this year is America the Beautiful. There are so many people here decked out in red, white, and blue. The floats are coming by right now, and a few families here tell me it's nice to see so many people come together to celebrate America. Music ignited the streets of downtown Coeur d'Alene for the city's annual 4th of July parade. And it was so much fun to dance on Sherman. Lalia and Mark Munch live in Coeur d'Alene, but haven't been to the parade in 20 years. It's grown tremendously. Perfect weather. We're all celebrating America. And celebrating is exactly what the community did. There were cheerleaders, tractors decked in America's colors, city officials, 
the Coeur d'Alene tribe, Girl Scouts, animals, and more. As one family watched and waved as the parade went by, the mom said this is something they look forward to every year. We love to see everybody come out, celebrate our country. There's so much American pride in this town, and we love it. The kids love it. The parade is fun, and it's just a great 4th of July activity. As the color guard and our branches of military made their way down the parade route, people proudly stood and cheered. I really love seeing the, the service veterans. That was really inspiring. Katie O'Connor says she and her family are on a road trip. She heard Coeur d'Alene had one of the most patriotic 4th of July parades, so they had to stop. Oh, this is probably one of the biggest parades we've been to. It's really fun, really exciting. And the excitement continues with the 4th of July fireworks show at the Coeur d'Alene Resort tonight at 945. In Coeur d'Alene, Marissa Rio for News Now. anything more American than the U.S. Army playing Leonard Skinner. This band had Riverfront Park rocking this afternoon for the 4th. It was one of the many attractions at the park this 4th of July weekend. Of course, the carnival is there with food, games, and rides, and people were able to find some quiet, relaxing ways to celebrate as well. Jordan Smith has been all over town today checking out how people are celebrating the holiday. He lands now at Riverfront Park. So, Jordan, how are things looking? Uh, they're looking pretty good. And, Kirsten, I know as a parent, I know my parents, the last thing they want to hear from their kids this summer is how bored they are hanging out at home. You won't find any of that here this 4th of July weekend, particularly here at Riverfront Park. You can see behind me the Ferris wheel is off and going. The rides behind them are just taking a little bit of a break here, but they've been going crazy since we got here. But if you're looking for a more low-key, mellow weekend, Spokane's got you covered there, too. <laughs> Live music, a sea of games, carnival rides, and a whole bunch of families are taking over Riverfront Park this 4th of July weekend. From ring tosses to whatever ride this is, there's something for everybody here celebrating Independence Day. But if you don't want to bother with parking and are looking for a slower paced weekend, your crowd is waiting for you on the water. Honestly, we are chilling today. We're, our plan is to go out on the water, have a few snacks, take some time to ourselves, and just like really soak it all in. Pretty much anywhere I went, people were enjoying today's perfect weather while I was lugging my camera gear around in jeans. Eventually, my envy overtook me. Definitely recommend. If you can't beat them, join them. There's also an Indians game tonight for those baseball lovers out there. So between that, our lakes and rivers, and the food and games at the carnival, the only thing missing is fireworks. Just make sure they're not your own. Um, there's so many devastating consequences that can, can occur. We all want to celebrate, but we really want you to celebrate safely. And that's a really good reminder from our fire chief. Fire marshals are patrolling all throughout Spokane County, cracking down on illegal fireworks. Basically, if you can light it, it's technically illegal and you shouldn't and respect the burn ban. Leave all the fireworks to the professionals. There's going to be an amazing fireworks show here tonight because if the fire marshals do catch you, you could be facing a $500 fine. So all the more reason to enjoy one of the many fireworks shows throughout the area. And it's one of my favorite traditions to watch it from the 4 News Now studios. Chris Crocker and I just popped out the, the door last year, Jordan, and we were able to see it. Oh, gosh, it's amazing. Well, and we've got a great location to just see all those fireworks happening over downtown. We don't have to fight the traffic to be here, but it's amazing. Every single year, there's something that's spectacular about it. I know that uh, earlier in the year, there were some drone shows, but regardless, this turnout is incredible, and this 4th of July fireworks show is going to be uh, off the hook, I believe, as Chris Crocker might say. <laughs> so uh, if you're not already out here, maybe come find a parking spot. It's going to be awesome. Uh, for now, reporting live at Riverfront Park, Jordan Smith, 4 News Now. Yeah, that's where he is now. He's not in his raft anymore. Thanks, Jordan. We do want to remind you, you can stream tonight's fireworks show in Riverfront Park on your connected TV using the KXLY the KXLY, that's us, plus app. The show kicks off right around 10 o'clock. We hope you can enjoy it from your couch.
It's also the last day to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Expo 74. Closing ceremonies start at 6 o'clock at the pavilion in the park with music, dance, and other performance groups. The closing speech and presentation is at 740, followed by the Masterclass Big Band. In just under an hour, watch how Spokane was transformed 50 years ago in our special Expo 74 Rebirth of a City right here at 6 o'clock. Well, Mark Peterson and the Extreme Team are helping people stay cool before those triple-digit temperatures arrive. See how the community came together to help, coming up on 4 News Now. Plus, it takes a village to create the city's largest fireworks show. Meet the man behind it all after the break. Download the KXLY Plus app on your connected TV. 4 News Now is brought to you by Move Fitness. This summer, don't sweat it. Bill's Heating and AC has you covered with the best prices on air conditioners and heat pumps. Guaranteed. With over 3,000 five-star reviews, we're the locally owned company you can trust. Our expert technicians provide fast, reliable service to ensure your home stays comfortable all season long. And should you ever have an issue, we're open seven days a week to provide immediate help. So what are you waiting for? Call Bill's Heating and AC for your free quote today. Did you know that if you shave, one-third of what you remove is skin? New Dove helps repair it. So if you shave it, Dove it. New Dove, replenish your skin after every shave. Most deodorants just do armpits. Dove does more. Meet Dove Whole Body Deo for thighs, shoulders, knees, and those. Try new Dove Whole Body Deodorant. It's the big 4th of July sale this week at Walker's. With big discounts on all your favorite name brand furniture items. Or pay for it over time with no money down and no interest financing for up to five years. This week at Walker's. BECU has helped Finney Ridge Painting grow from setting up payroll services to finance. I feel that BECU is fundamentally concerned about me as an individual and my business and all the individuals that work here. They provide a level of connection that other institutions aren't interested in. With BECU, we don't feel like customers. We feel like business partners. Can you do this? As early as your 40s, you may lose muscle and strength. Protein supports muscle health. Ensure Max Protein has a 30-gram blend of high-quality protein to feed muscles for up to seven hours. So take the challenge. Ensure nutrition for strength and energy. Travel for Adventures is brought to you in part by TourMosesLake.com. crowd is expected for the fireworks display tonight in Riverfront Park. The bright, colorful display will light up the sky at 10 o'clock right in the heart of our city. 4 News Now's Allison Martinez shares what the lead up to tonight's main event looks like. We can all picture fireworks, but what about the setup? I spoke to the pyro team responsible for lighting up the sky this Independence Day to learn what it's all about. For the thousands that watch, the bursts of red, white, and blue look effortless. For Ethan Campagno and his crew, it's a labor of love that takes hours of difficult and dangerous work. This will be the third year in a row that I've been the head pyro for the, uh, the downtown show. But he's not doing it alone. Ethan has a full team of family and friends to make the city's biggest firework show come to life. Other people I, you know, I go to church with and just, you know, they're interested in pyro, so we bring them down and, you know, put them through the paces. Can you set it up? Can you shoot safely? It's a job that takes a lot of time management and coordination. But Ethan says working with people he knows and loves makes it a lot easier. It's, it's fun to, you know, see these people out, outside of, you know, other events, you know, to have a common goal and, um, to, you know, to come together and get, get it done is, is, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Before the first fireworks shoots off at 10 p.m., the sound of music fills the park all day with a closing performance by Masterclass Big Band. For us to be here as the main act tonight, uh, 
performing right before the fireworks. It's it's a huge deal. I mean, for all of us. I mean, I'm so excited to be here. When it's all said and done, cheers from the crowd make all of the work worth it for the musicians and pyro team alike. You can hear people clapping, and that always makes you feel good. You know that it's you know, hey, we've done a great job. You know, and um, and we've done it safely. Reporting in Spokane, Allison Martinez, Four News Now. Oh, that makes me so much more excited for the fireworks tonight and all the fun things going on. If that is not your scene and you're heading out of town, here is your camping forecast for the weekend. Beaver Lodge Resort, uh, plenty of sunshine, temperatures in the 90s, but you'll be getting away from some of the heat. Some of the heat, of course, Beaver Lodge is just east of Colville on Lake Gillette. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Global Credit Union serves the men and women of our armed forces stationed around the world. We're proud to honor our military members by wearing red on Friday. Red stands for Remember Everyone Deployed. And 4 News Now and Global Credit Union are inviting you to wear red on Fridays too. Show your support for the men and women of our armed forces. Tell them and their families thank you for their service and for protecting our future. Stop by any global branch and pick up a red pin. And then remember to wear red every Friday from now until September 11th. Dogs and the 4th of July. How to keep your dog from going nuts during fireworks. It looks like he's crying. Next, Inside Edition. Watch Inside Edition at 7. With the latest looks arriving monthly, there's always something new to love at Furniture Row, like the Krisha Sleeper Sectional. Boasting luxurious comfort, several layouts, and two colors, the Krisha elevates any home with stylish practicality. Or dine on the Traverse City with a weathered chestnut finish and book match pattern. This rustic contemporary set is great for gatherings of any size. And for your bedroom, the Levita features a cool natural look with simulated live edge cuts and a casual contemporary appeal. Find these fresh new looks and more now at Furniture Row. Hi, E.T. Taylor Swift, never before seen interviews from all her eras. How did this happen? It's a special E.T. Vault Unlocked. E.T., you have the exclusive. Next E.T. Watch Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. The 4th of July savings are rolling in at Finley Downtown Toyota. Making it the perfect time to get that new Toyota or a more reliable used vehicle with a one-year, 15,000-mile maintenance plan. So you can start your driving adventures tomorrow. Looks like you need some kind of quick payment to settle this whole mess. Yeah, I'm going to reach out to those one call that's all guys. We want to make sure you're actually taken care of after an accident like this. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. 4 News Now is brought to you by The Tire Store. Welcome back to 4 News Now. We're taking a live look over the carnival in Riverfront Park, where the city's largest fireworks show will light off tonight. Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker has your forecast. Well, it is going to be beautiful weather for fireworks tonight. Then we have the hot weather on the way. I know it may have felt hot to you today, especially if you were out for a jog or out in the, in the bright sunshine. But it's going to get hotter. There is an excessive heat warning that takes effect Saturday and will be in the triple digits. It looks like every day uh, next work week. Hour by hour for Friday, though, we're going to start the day off in the early morning. We'll be in the 50s, 61 by 7 o'clock. will be our last night in the 50s for a while. Then we're into the 70s by 10 a.m. deep into the 80s by the time we're into noon. I mean, we are going to be warmer tomorrow. Blue skies and sunshine and winds will be light across the region. That's the good news with such dry conditions and the fire danger as things dry out. At least we are not dealing with gusty winds. 92 degrees for our high tomorrow. That will be the warmest day of the season so far, but we've got a lot of warming left to do around the region. Starting to see some triple digits sneak onto the map. Wenatchee, Tri-Cities, and Lewiston. A lot of places in the upper 90s. Omak, Moses Lake, and Grand Coulee. Meanwhile, still in the 80s throughout North Idaho and down into the Moscow and Pullman area. 89 degrees there. Right around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. Temperatures ranging from 85 degrees tomorrow at Spirit Lake to 94 in downtown. And we will be in the lower 90s uh, through a good portion of the Spokane. 
Spokane area 92 uh, in Mead on Friday. It only gets warmer gradually at first, Saturday up to 93, 97 Sunday, and then right now it looks like we are triple digits through the rest of the week. These numbers may vary a little bit. This white line down here is our average high, and that 8 to 14 day forecast is still bright red, indicating a very strong trend toward above average temperatures as we get into mid-July. Weather alert days every day, starting with that excessive heat warning on Saturday, although the worst of it is coming next week. And I, I emphasized this before, but I just want to mention it again that the effects of heat are cumulative. So it really isn't just that we're going to hit 103 on Tuesday. It's that we will be in this prolonged period of hot weather. And that is so hard, even on the healthiest people. So do take care of yourself, your pets, and your people, Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. And before that extreme heat begins, three stores in the community and their shoppers raised money to help keep our vulnerable neighbors cool. Mark Peterson and the extreme team have this amazing news. All right, the heat is on and we got great news last week. And today we're going to find out just how good the news is. Miles joining us, one of the uh, partners of General Store here on North Division. So the extreme team, you did a roundup in May, right? Yep, that is correct. Okay, and, and how'd we do? Uh, so between the three stores, the General Store, Ace Liberty Lake, and the Argonne Store, we rounded up uh, $6,136. All right, that's amazing. Now, I want to take some of that money and throw it back at you because of the heat. Temperature's in the triple digits next week. So Meals on Wheels requires box fans, and they always put out a request for that. So we're going to get 10 of those. How many do you have in stock? We're going to buy 10 and give those to Meals on Wheels uh, on Friday. Well, we do have plenty in stock right now. I'll have to have a look to get you a good number, but we are prepped and ready for uh, this heat wave coming up. All right, so make sure that you get the fans, get the water, and make sure you take care of yourselves. We're going to continue to follow this heat wave that's going to be with us all next week. But the Extreme team has over $6,000 to help other nonprofits all the way through this next year. I'm Mark Peterson for News Now at the General Store for the Extreme team. Awesome. Thank you, Mark. It is the 4th of July, which means a steady dose of baseball and hot dogs. Coming up in sports, Alex Crescenti shows us how the Seattle Mariners shot off some fireworks early and who came away with the mustard belt in the hot dog eating contest. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. When it comes to remodeling your bath, there's fact and there's fiction. Fiction. It's too expensive to remodel your bath. Fact. With Bathfitters' hundreds of design options, you'll get the bath you want to fit your budget. Fiction. Bath remodels take forever and tear the house apart. Fact. Bathfitter installation takes just one day to fit your schedule. Get the bath that fits you. Bathfitter. It just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. Experience the magic and share the joy at Disney's Frozen, the spectacular new musical. From the producer of The Lion King and Aladdin, this beloved story comes to life on stage in an unforgettable theatrical experience. You've never seen Frozen like this. Disney's Frozen is coming to First Interstate Center for the Arts, July 24th through August 4th. Don't be left out in the cold. Get tickets at broadwayspokane.com. The DQ Freezer is opening. All the Blizzard flavors of the past call it home. But which one is making a triumphant return? It's the unshareable Salted Caramel Truffle Blizzard. Back for a limited time. Mm. Salted Caramel Truffles. Toffee Pieces. Choco Chunks. Yep, he's getting his own. Hurry in and get this flavor before the DQ Freezer closes. I felt like there was just no answers to get out of the anxiety and the depression that I had. Introducing Neurostim TMS, Washington's leading provider of transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS therapy. TMS is not shock therapy. It's an FDA-approved, easy outpatient experience and covered by all major medical insurances. There's nothing better than just being able to enjoy life again. Reach out to Neurostim TMS today and rediscover the light and joy in your life. 
The 4th of July savings are rolling in at Finley Downtown Toyota. Making it the perfect time to hit the open road or go camping in your new Toyota. And if you're looking for a certified pre-owned vehicle, we've got hundreds of great choices to choose from. Plus, every vehicle sold comes with a one-year, 15,000-mile maintenance plan. So if you're looking for a great deal on a new sporty ride, you can find it at Finley. Forward News Now is brought to you by Fred's Appliance. Well, it is the 4th of July, which means every Major League Baseball team is in action and a chance for the Seattle Mariners to get right, and they really need something to change. They've lost 10 of their last 13 games and tried to avoid the sweep at the hands of the Baltimore Orioles this afternoon. Now, a big struggle over that time period has been the offense, but there was no such thing this afternoon. In the fifth, Julio Rodriguez records his eighth home run of the season and his first since mid-June to jumpstart the bats, but the difference maker came in the seventh with the game tied two and the bases loaded. J.P. Crawford clears the bases with a three RBI double to give Seattle the lead and restore a bit of confidence into the Mar Mariner faithful as they go on to win 7-3, the most runs scored since June 22nd. And um, it is a grind, you know, every day. And we got another series coming up here with Toronto and you need to get back going here with our offense. Hopefully today kind of opens the floodgates a little bit. Guys can take a deep breath and get back to being who we are. But another great 4th of July tradition can be found in Coney Island, New York. The Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Contest. And for the first time in almost a decade, we have a new men's champion as Patrick Barrow Letty down 58 hot dogs in buns to win the competition, breaking his previous record of 55. And he becomes only the fourth man in the last quarter century to claim the mustard belt. Now, a big reason for that is 16-time champion Joey Chestnut was not in attendance today. He had a bit of dispute after standing... Uh, uh, signing a deal with Impossible Brands, which is the competitor of Nathan's, so it's a whole mess there. Maybe we'll see him next year. For now, reporting live from the KXOY Skydeck, I'm Alex Crescenti, 4 News Now Sports. Thank you, Alex. A consumer alert tonight. Nearly a million units of the very popular Hatch Baby sound machines have been recalled because they could pose a shock hazard. Power adapters sold with some of these units of the REST first generation sound machine could break and leave the power prongs in the outlet. There have been two reports of minor electrical shocks. Contact Hatch for a free replacement online. 4 News Now will be right back. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. At Numerica, you'll find money answers for street ballers. Get money answers for you and only you. Learn more at numericacu.com. The sale of the season is here. It's the Star Spangled 4th of July sale at Furniture Row. That's seven days where the more you buy, the more you save. Save a hundred bucks on every thousand you spend on living, dining, bedroom, and mattresses. Plus, make your money go further with six years no interest financing. And check out doorbusters while they last. But don't wait. The Star Spangled 4th of July sale at Furniture Row ends Thursday the 4th. Hey, honey, I hear that Eagle Rock RV and boat storage can accommodate all of our storage needs. Yeah, and all indoor units are powered with lighting and plug-ins to keep our RV and boat batteries charged. And you know what I love? The extra-wide driveways. It makes it easy to move around. And I love their motto, protect and preserve. And they use a state-of-the-art security system with awesome customer service. And they're staffed seven days a week for indoor and outdoor storage access. Eagle Rock RV and boat storage. All, all the, the fun, fun you, you can, can fit, fit in the summer. summer. Call or click today to check out their units. Stay ahead of your moderate to severe eczema and show off clearer skin and less itch with Dupixin, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists and allergists that helps heal your skin from within. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Ask your eczema specialist about Dupixin. 
Hi, I'm Chris with Tactical Plumbing. We're a well-known, locally-owned company with a great reputation with our customers. While the new housing boom stays strong, we are excited to announce that we are growing our company to provide homeowners with our precision services. Tactical Plumbing has over 30 years of combined experience, and we are now booking residential service and repair. Tactical Plumbing providing our community with carefully planned and strategically executed plumbing solutions. Call us or visit our website today for all of your plumbing needs. 4 News Now is brought to you by Parker Toyota. A change to our schedule tonight. Instead of 4 News Now at 6, watch our hour dedicated to Expo 74 and the rebirth of Spokane. It's happening right here in just about a half an hour. And that is a good show if you have mm. not seen it. Blue skies and sunshine, weather alert day starting Saturday. That's when our excessive heat warning goes into effect. So let get those fans that they say they have plenty of them and yes. uh, yeah, prepare for the heat. I know, and you gotta think ahead because people are already probably buying the fans. I'm glad that Mark Peterson did that story today because as we get into those triple digits, it's gonna be harder to find. I agree, yeah. All right, thanks for joining us. See you later.